Hey everyone, Jared here from Story Towns, and uh, this is a crazy week. This has probably been the craziest week of many people's lives around the area. And what we're doing in Story Towns, we want to keep everyone connected with local communities and businesses. So in the coming weeks, you're going to hear these podcasts, and these are just interviews with local people doing what they can to help and support other local people and how we can support them. In this episode, I speak with Jackie Darcy, and she runs a gallery slash co-op in Coleraine, and the place is called Jackie. Jackie Darcy's Fine Arts. So we're in the middle of Coleraine. You've opened the gallery and uh, and you've got a bunch of the community involved. You, you But you moved here two years ago, is that right? Can you tell us a little, because it was a really sad story, how, and if, if you don't mind talking of about course, it. Of course, I can talk about that. Um, so, yes, two years ago I decided to downsize with my then partner um, and we found this gorgeous little town. We knew one person here, came and had a look at it. 15 minutes into looking at a house, we bought it. Um, the day that we were travelling across, he was killed in a car accident, so he didn't actually make it um, and at that point in time I pretty much my world came to a grinding halt um, and the town were fantastic they were very very good and very supportive and uh, I sort of attracted a benefactor just through talking at the pub actually who decided that um, he would give me a hand to set up this gallery and that's where we came to, to be. What's your experience in the galleries in the past and what, where, what have you been doing or is this a whole new genre for you? Yeah 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 I Figured you did. <laughs> yeah, only my own gallery. This is the first time I've owned a gallery. I'm a second generation artist and teacher, so I've had a, a lot of experience watching my mother do open air art, art exhibitions and things like that before and um, running galleries, so I did sort of know a little bit about it. Mm. But I didn't really sort of have um, a real idea on how well it would run and I'm sort of pleasantly surprised and the classes that we attend, uh, we, we have people attending here are very, very good, so wow. we're getting a lot of community um, support with that which is fantastic tell me a little bit more about the place so you've got a bunch of artists in here locals or who we got in here yes we've got a community now so uh we've got some people that we've got a young a a lady young she's not that young (laughs) 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 that does like soy candles they're beautiful candles by the way really good quality and then we've got another artist who is sitting to my (laughs) left she's over there carolyn (laughs) in the corner and she does some gorgeous port art so it's quite different to my own and it gives a bit of variety and uh, we're hoping that we can get her on on board at some point to actually do some workshops with that as well um, and uh, we've got people that have got cards for sale here and some other herb products and things like that so right, so it is like a real co-op like it's a yeah. yes we're hoping to make that even more so so we're really really on board for other people that are artisans or crafters who want to come in and put their wor- works in and we we charge no commission whatsoever we charge small admin, admin fee and we're really keen for just maybe to get them to sort of open up and do some voluntary work here and just have the shop open and I think that'll go places. And are they all local artists? Where's everyone yeah, come from? Yes, yeah, they are local at this point in time. Um, but I think that we sort of try and reach out further as we go and we'll get some other towns involved as well. Tell me about your love of art then. Let's go back to when you were a child. What, where, where did this all derive from? What was what were you doing? I think I absor- was absorbed by osmosis basically because I, I pretty much was raised under the easel. My mother painted, was quite a prolific artist and did very, very well for herself, especially since there was no social media. So she was a well-known artist for South Australia and Lands- uh, Joan Reed was her name. She was a landscape artist and um, had quite a good following. Um, and to, to, to think that she actually made a living and, and all the things that she did without any social media. So her art was basically teaching or going around to different um, exhibitions and, and having her work sell. So, yeah. But funnily, I never had any lessons from her. So I don't okay. paint anything like her at all. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to bring one of her paintings and actually display it in the gallery just as a sort of a nod to her and for other people to have a look at. Thanks for talking to me, Jackie. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening, everyone. And don't forget to subscribe. You've got Spotify or YouTube or your podcast. Just hit the subscribe button and you'll get notifications when we send out more podcasts. You can find us on Instagram or Facebook. Just look for Storytowns. Thanks for listening, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.